Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Shitcoms. We're back with Saved by the Bell. This time we're taking a look at one of the oldest episodes we've ever watched on the series. of episode from the very first season. Yep. It's the sixth episode overall, Aloha Slater. Uh, Aloha. Aloha. We just watched Aloha. Hawaiian shit break. Now we're moving in. To a Hawaiian Save by the Bell. Main course. The main course, absolutely, of that stick and, cha- uh, stick and chicken. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was gonna keep say keep suck- fucking that chicken. <laughs> I was going to say suckling pig, but, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, back yeah. to that old that old, uh, chestnut. That old chestnut, yeah, that absolutely. Old that old mm. macadamia nut. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hope the fucking shipwreck episode is out before this one, or none of this will make sense to any fucking body. But, uh, yeah, well, let's all watch... Young fucking Zach Morris still be as big of a piece of shit as we've seen him in yeah, any of really, the episodes. I don't from really the later remember seasons. too much about. I think he was just more like he like. I think they made him more of a dirtbag as the show progressed. Cause Why usually, would they do that? I don't know because like usually he was just like uh oh, we it's like you know get rich quick scheme guy but he's right. like in a high school kid. Sure, he's that sitcom that's joke, but the a joke. Kid. Yeah, and so. And a kid. And, and, like, that's how it was early on, like, when he's mm. real young, but I don't know why they made him such, like, an obnoxious shit heel. Because wasn't on. he supposed to be, like, a heartthrob? Why would you make your main character a douche? An unlikable douche who's shitty to women. He's because bad boys are alluring. <coughs> you know, if you're too nice, then fuck them, but bad boys. Mm, gimme, gimme. I don't think I'll ever make it on time. Uh, uh. This intro is new. No, it is not. Well, it's, if anything, it's, it's old. It's remastered. Yeah. Oh, does it look a little bit better? It's gonna look all yeah. weird. Wait. Well, you know what they do. I guess this is like, yeah, because this has to be from like a syndicated thing, because this is all footage from well after the Miss Bliss era. Yeah, what they did was, well, they're not doing it here or else it would have started at the beginning. They have old Zach Morris be like, man, I remember the time. Oh my I god, you're right! <laughs> and Alonzo! Oh boy! This is gonna be his first appearance on shitcoms! It is, wow. I've never seen We've Max. been referencing him countless times. And there he is! It's he's Watch a... him not be in this fucking episode. <laughs> no, no, dude, he's totally in If the, he's credited, he the has The big to be luau takes place at the max. He's totally in it. Oh, yes. You know he's gonna make a pineapple disappear oh, or some shit. Up screeches dickhole. Look at that. Diving right in. No Zach mm. Morris intro. Joe Montana in the Super Bowl. Kurt Gibson in the World Series. Flo Joe in the Olympics. You have to pantomime everything you say. Right? Joe Montana in the Olympics. <laughs> Being a douche. Well, I don't like to brag, but <gasps> third place, Zach. That's great. Oh. Third place. That's second loser. Oh my god, is she Whoa, wearing look like that a macho tent? man jacket? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I once finished fifth in an Alf lookalike contest. Alf. Hey, it's a what throwback is... to Who Shrunk Saturday Mornings. Hey. Alf, it's so great to meet oh. you. <laughs> Ever since that experience. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> look at that. Look at Slater's big old fuck. I mean, it's 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 phallic. It's all phallic. <laughs> He's got his little baby dick third oh place ribbon. Everybody and, and, in the max is no, fucking stops not just what everybody. They were doing. All the ladies crowded uh, around Slater. See, look at that. He feels like an inferior little cuck. He's a cuck in a gray tracksuit. Look at him <laughs> shoving it in his face. I just picture after that experience. And then picks up his girl. Oh, God. And he's just, look at you. I can't watch this. I just picture that after the experience with Alf. Everybody else forgets it happened. Except Screech. Screech swears. It's like, no, guys, remember we met we, Alf? We went to a TV. <laughs> They're like, met Alf. shut up, Screech, you annoying asshole. Show me that hole you used to be Johnson. Put him in your you know, submission hole. You, know, mm, yes. you know, Big Johnson from all those dumb shirts in the 90s. <laughs> you know, he's got wood. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here, Whoa, do something I could sue you Working for. fucking snug on Mr. Belding. But he said he's a big wrestling fan, so he's he probably, certainly he's is. fucking marking out right now. He's me getting a chop from the Man Scout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to go help the nurse look for a contact lens. <laughs> contact lens. Oh, no, you blew his fucking knee out doing a chokehold. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, man. What a fucking botched worker. What an asshole. Yeah, he's he's like unsafe. A, he's like the new Jack of Bayside. Ugh. Trying to throw in fucking Principal Grimes off the scaffolding, trying to kill him. Excuse me. Whoa. Oh, there he is. There's his daddy. I'm looking for AC Slater's father. Affirmative. AC Affirmative. Slater's... Why do you say affirmative to a kid? Why would you walk up to a guy and go AC Slater's father? Like, why wouldn't you just go, oh, you AC's dad? Zach, the nurse's office is that way. 
I know, but when a father comes to see... Does he have fucking jaw in his mouth? What the <laughs> fuck is he doing? Come on, let's go to Belding's office. Maybe he's got like a retainer in. I have a... Ooh, Ooh clip art light bulb. <laughs> they went all out. They splurged. Proud to say I served my country in the fighting 55th. None. Indiana. National Guard. <laughs> I'll sleep better at night knowing that. Thank you for your service. To oh, you're welcome. You're a bigger patriot than me. Godspeed. Fuck. Oh! Mm -hmm. I forgot about this. Why is he in there? <laughs> is oh, somebody he's, tripping right now? I think now? he's supposed to be eavesdropping. Like, he's spying uh, on. He's spying on AC Slater's and they father. Don't, they don't see him? Or no. hear that? No. Or his asthmatic his asthmatic breathing in the fucking <laughs> filing cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jerking off on the inside of the... <laughs> what the fuck? Why is he jerking off? Cause because he's a, cause he's a teenager. <laughs> and, he, and he's getting off on the fact that they don't know he's there. He's a voyeur. We've talked about going to Hawaii for years. Go ahead and call him if you want. You can hear him just as well without the drawer open. Why would you risk getting caught? You idiot. Is it a soundproof filing cabinet? <laughs> and how are you able to get in there so easily? What kind of horrors is Mr. Bellamy doing? That doesn't make you happy? Oh, I like it here in this school, Dad. Day. <laughs> I like it here, Dad. But I don't want to go. <laughs> Seems to be more here. Why? No. Why would you nod as if people are going to see you when the whole point is to not be seen? He's breaking the fourth wall. Oh! It's a meta. Saved by the meta. Oh, God. Saved by that fourth wall as it comes crumbling down. Ah, look! He fucked up his spine forever. That's all right. Just Pinky Blue and call me a Smurf. What? Pinky Blue and call me a Smurf? Well... He fathers me. <laughs> over his fucking... Yeah, I don't know if it's an voice. affect or if it's just like, like, oh, I've got braces or a retainer oh. or something. I'm telling you, he's got a retainer in. A number one, king of the hill, master of the best. <laughs> Enough already. He fucking crammed Screech into a goddamn filing cabinet, permanently fucking up his spine, and here he is just fucking snapping at him like, yeah, do my fucking bidding. I'm gonna leave you here on the fucking floor. Like, like the good friend I am. Then it's true Slater won't be with us much longer? Might as well kiss him goodbye. He's out of here. You were just fucking creaming your jeans two seconds ago over his Oh, fucking... wait, that's right. He, like, said that Slater's, like, sick and dying or something, and she thinks he's gonna be dead. Mm. What are you talking about? Oh, I guess he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing we talked over. He came up with a set of symptoms... One was that he would forget things, so when he brings up things uh, that never happened, gaslighting oh, him. Oh, and when he and when he, it, he, itches. he itches, and so he's gonna so, pour ants down his back. Yeah, which again, just tormenting your best friend for the sake okay, of. Okay, you're what? actually you're right. He's always been a, kind of a piece of shit. Then. Yeah, how about that? This this show is like Recess meets It's Always Sunny. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. Why are you getting up in the middle of goddamn cloud? What are you doing? To knock his book off and then. Obviously, Holy four pants on shit. his back. This is study hall, not Soul Train. Let's try not to laugh. Not Soul Train, you hilarious dying child. Die somewhere else, I see Slater. You're dying not Soul Train. <laughs> the treat Slater like dirt show is about to begin. By the time it's over, Slater will be in Hawaii. Kelly will be all mine. Oh. He's such a conniving wow. piece of shit. Holy He's fucking so Oh, this shit. kid's great. What a heel. <laughs> oh, he's fucking over. It's a terrible day. You can't even breathe the air. What are you, stupid? Don't talk to me. Why not? Hey, you're one of those dumb jocks, aren't you? Oh. You didn't think so yesterday when I won my trophy. You're a conceited dumb jock. What's happening? Did I miss something? Yeah, I don't... They're, they're all trying to be mean to him so they don't miss him as much. More mind games on the behalf Jesus. of Zach Morris. This might be the worst he's ever been. And it's so early on. Yeah, it really sets a really horrible precedent. And there's so much, so much complex emotion that would go into the writing of this that these actors... Are not conveying. They're just like, oh, you must be conceited. <laughs> oh, you're a conceited jock. How would I know anything about that? I'm 16. <laughs> Who makes that statement? I'm moving to Hawaii. Oh, yes. And I'm going with him. What have I done? Oh, Zach! Blew up in your face. That's what you fucking get. Face. You toe-headed creep. 
Well, I couldn't bear for you to live the last days of your life alone. Oh what? It all comes crashing down. Oh, man. And, and everyone just forgives Zack, by the way. Obviously, since this is like the first episode. In, sure. In, or first you know, season. Mm -hmm. Boys will be boys. Hey, where is that Alonzo? Give him some time. We still gotta have the big. We've luau. been to the max twice now. Yeah, but we haven't gotten to the goddamn luau. We're in the second act right now, where everything's blowing up in Zack's dump base, and he's doing oh. the stupid timeout thing, stage freeze. Is this the first time we've watched an episode of Saved by the Bell for shitcoms where we've seen a timeout? Maybe. Yeah, that's the first time he's done it in this series. It like he's like, whoa, I could do that. So wait a second. He did this. And then he said, time in. So AC would have heard him hold that up and say, time in. Maybe Slater was just fucking with him. Maybe everyone's oh, gaslighting gaslighting him. Oh, Slater's fuck. Slater's realizing his mind games and, oh. and it's turning the tables. Uh, Mr. Slater? It's Major Slater. <laughs> you must be Minor Morris. And the gas lamp Dude, has there's turned. A, there's a lot of gaslighting in Saved by the Bell because there's like another episode where Zack's wanting to get with... With Kelly, of course, but Slater's with her, but he did some dick shit, and they're like, oh, let's fuck with Zack, and they're like, uh, Kelly beat me up, dude, she kept having these headaches and would black out and beat me up with a baseball bat. Oh Jesus, my god! The and then, they, and then she, they get him, like, trapped alone in a room with Kelly, and she's sort of like, oh, my head hurts, and grabs a baseball bat and starts smashing desks and shit. Holy shit! Yeah. That's hilarious! This show's great, actually. Now I kind of figure out why I love this show. Oh my god! Because people are just twisted pieces of shit to each other constantly. Two, three, four. He just smashed his desk with his fist, dude! Oh yeah, he's committing to a role. <laughs> Hi! I'm Major Slater. What is it you wanted to talk to me about, soldier? Well, you just pull the pin like this. But as long as you hold that clip, nothing will happen. But if you were to let go of that clip, it could blow up everyone who did you wrong in four seconds. Don't give anybody ideas. <laughs> Goodbye to our Wait. warrior. Is that done? <laughs> yes. That could only be the voice of oh, one man. Absolutely, Ed Alonzo. Ed Alonzo! With the ukulele. Yes. No less. Welcome to paradise by the pineapple princess. The pineapple. Oh. And it's screeching the fucking. Weird there it is. Get up. Doing the funky chicken. Why? Why are they doing the funky chicken? I still don't get that. Is this Hawaii. a dream? No, 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 this is totally happening. See, look at him, look at him go. Look at him go. Why does it just sound like a preset on a keyboard? Was <laughs> That's all it is. It's just somebody with a Kazi keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is a goddamn fever dream, dude. Was this episode supposed to make sense? Uh, is it ever? I mean, look, they just get an applause break. Why? For what? Cause they, they just did the funky chicken on the max for and 10 went, seconds. And went, oh! <laughs> I'm like, the, I'm the You know, count. cause Hawaiian stuff, I guess. I like, yeah, I like how their interpretation of Hawaiian music was just a fucking shitty snare preset on a keyboard. <laughs> on like a fucking $10 keyboard. And just shout every so often. <laughs> Prop comedy. See more. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Slater, is that you? No! <laughs> no, it's fucking Hervé Villachev. Three, two, and freeze frame! Yeah! Oh, I see. Yeah, it's like a sex toy. Thanks, Peter Engel, for making us laugh at. I, at I don't even know. At false alarms of. Gaslighting, like, manipulation, joking uh, about killing a. Fucking diner full of teens. Yeah. <laughs> There's this kid named Larry Egan, and you know he was he was he was a bit heavy, uh -huh. and so he'd uh. We never like picked on him for being fat, but we would always he would always get like a biscuit to like eat on the way, like because you know the Hardy was in the walking distance of the school. Oh, okay. And uh, and yeah, I remember this one time, you know, usually we just try to knock it out of his hand and shit. But this one time, he had just about to unwrap it. <laughs> this kid named Corey was such a douche. <laughs> he had, like, it was funny. Like, most of us were just kind of, like, whatever, like, just... But he was, like, a preppy kid, and he had, like, you know, the gelled-up bangs. Oh. And remember when Hawaiian shirts were big in, like, oh, in, like yeah. the, the late 90s? Uh-huh. And he was wearing one of those, and he fucking... 
He waited, like, he calculated this like a serial killer. He waited behind, waiting until Larry was, like, about to open it, and he got, like, a fucking running start, snatches it out of his hand, runs way down the street, and, like, takes a big, like, cartoonish bite out of it, and goes, like, mm, 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 and then spikes it on the ground and fucking mushes it into the pavement, and then just keeps on running. <laughs> Larry was gonna catch up to him? Uh, no. <laughs> Larry tried. He was like, he wasn't even within like close shot of him at all when he was like mushing it into the pavement. My biscuit. <laughs> and the whole time he That's was just fucking like, terrible. And the whole time he was just screaming, You're like no, like, <laughs> <laughs> screaming in pain <laughs> as Corey ran further and further away with his biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> it's only funny because it happened a long time ago. Oh yeah, dude. Now we're I'd like, be like, man, what a dick. But we're like, we're like, well, yeah, because we'd be like thirty, and also Larry's dead now. Oh no! 